Welcome back everyone The Cube's coverage here for transforming the data center boundaries, obviously future ready storage with IBM and The Cube co-production. Mike Flynn's back with the watch party in Atlanta with Kim Kat with IBM as well. Mike, great to see you and shout out to all the watch parties and all the folks in Atlanta, bringing it big time, way to go. Yeah. I lo love the segment and really thank you for being part of this awesome program. Um, give us an update, what's going on? Kat, Kim, what's what's happening? Well, I appreciate it. Uh, now, I'm, I'm a little intimidated right now because in London, they just proved that Jimmy Buffett song is five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so, Kat, we'll have to talk about that later. We will, right? we will for sure. <laughs> They're celebrating so, all the uh, great news. But listen, um, so it is exciting. Uh, we are here in Atlanta and we're here with the digital sales team. I am with Kat Macchiao. She is the North America digital sales leader for storage. And uh, so she's got her entire team. Now, what's, what's truly exciting about this experience, I believe, is listening to the sellers here and listening to the content and th them talking about their clients and talking about, okay, this is going to help me. I have clients talking about this. And so the collaboration is incredible. And that's what I love about your digital sales team is the collaboration and, and how they work together. But I, I think what's really, really important is that, um, that as, they, as they take this message to clients, um, that we've got the, the right support for them and it's, it's a community. So I think about our business partners that we've seen engagements and, and it's really, I think that tightness uh, in the community and, and, and you know, I mentioned the, the hashtag I, IBM uh, because of the, um, you know, because I think we do have to socialize and I think we do have to come together as, as a community because we're, 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 we're fighting a force out there, frankly, uh, that's, um, that's hurting a lot of different people, right? Um, you know, the we've talked about the recovery of the data being really the the true resilience in in everything that we do, and what you saw Andy talk about and Ian talk about just recently in this this uh, this last segment. So, but but Kat, as we talked about some things that resonated, I think one of the things that resonated the most was this this concept of storage forever, right? Absolutely. And so I'd love to. Talk a little bit about the storage uh, um, assurance perpetual offering that we have, what you heard from your team and maybe two or three things that were important or what resonated with them. I like that you said two or three things because uh, I'm at risk of going on that topic for hours, but I won't do that to you. Um, so instead I will follow your lead. I'll stick to three things that me and the team here, first of all, thank you team. We're excited about, and we're excited about it because our customers uh, are truly going to transform how they operate with IBM right. storage. And so the first thing that I would highlight is the simplification of storage lifecycle management. Right. You know what to expect and you can bring the most modern capabilities into your environment in a non-disruptive manner. Right. The second thing I would highlight is peace of mind. You know with the service level guarantees, you don't have to focus as much, you don't have to stress as much about your storage environment, you can spend that time focused on other pieces of your infrastructure. Finally, the price protection is huge. You can forecast out what you're gonna pay over a four to eight year cycle with flexibility. And that allows you to plan accordingly, especially in you know, maybe uncertain economic times. So that's what I would highlight, those yeah. three things. And I think you know, the culmination of those points, those are brilliant points. And really, as we, we listened to Audrey earlier, really resonated. And I think the one other thing is, and I need our clients to understand this, this data resiliency and oh capabilities gosh. that we have is for all our clients. It's the, it's the smaller clients to the larger clients. Oh, without a doubt. Right? This is and what I get most excited yeah. about. So, so to have this, and we think about, you know, I, one of your sellers got extremely excited about the fact that, hey, I can upgrade my 5300 one drive at a time. One drive. But, but there are budgets that meet different levels and different sizes of clients. And to have that flexibility, not, not only in the in the storage, and but also in the programs on how we offer and how you can consume is huge. So, team, what do you think? I love it. 
Awesome. So, Great job. Yeah, too, but again, uh, hashtag IBM Cube team. Let's make sure that we socialize this. It's important. You guys do great work out there in the field, in the front lines, in the field, taking care of customers. IBM's got everyone covered. Um, congratulations. And what a great team in Atlanta. Thank you so much, Mike, Kat, appreciate it. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. Okay, we'll be right back. Wrapping up closing comments here in Palo Alto and everyone around the world watching and watch parties. And of course, all over the continent, all over the regions. The Cube's got you covered. IBM's got you covered. We'll be right back.